Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 11 in chapter 17. Chapter 17 is about temperature, thermal expansion, and the ideal gas law. We can see in these problems, we need to do something with the water. There we find the minimum the density for the water is 1 times 1000 right, kilogram per meter uh, cube. And there, the temperature for this case is 4 degree. And now, ask you, what is the water's density at 94 degree? So, for these cases, if we have a cup of water, and increase the temperature from the 4 degree to 94 degree, what changes? Volumes, right? And what not change? Mass. Because mass is the how much the materials, that is the number of atoms in the water, this will not change, right? So now we can consider at 4 degree, the mass is just 1000 kilogram and volumes is 1 meter cube. Is that works? That makes the density just equal to this one, right? So we assume the mass and the initial volumes. Now we can see the density increase. Oh, sorry, the temperature increase. This will bring the volumes increase, right? So we have the function look like this one. And in this function, the beta is a coefficient for this expansion. Uh, so beta, we can check our test book, get it in there. And V0 is there, 1 meter cube. Density is the temperature change. So final temperature minus initial temperature. We get we input all the known quantity, get answer there. So in this case, you can see when we increase the temperature, the volumes increased this one, this number, right? Now we look at the density for the temperature at 94 degree. So we use mass divided by volumes. We can see in this case, the mass is a constant, it is still 1,000 kilogram, and the volumes becomes the initial volumes plus the volume changed, delta V, agree? And in this case, we input all the known quantities, get answers there. Thank you.